What is a dual carriageway? This is one of those questions that many drivers have trouble answering. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little quiz to find out if you know what a dual carriageway really is. I'll be giving you the answer, explaining the difference between a dual carriageway and a motorway. And I'm even going to tell you a funny story about a time a driving instructor ended up arguing with a driving test examiner about what a dual carriageway is. So what is a dual carriageway? This is what I tell my pupils, and if you remember this short, simple phrase, it makes it easy to answer any of the following questions. A dual carriageway is when two directions of traffic are separated by a barrier. That's all it is. So, how many lanes does a dual carriageway have? What do you think? Well, most people say two, which is incorrect, because the answer is it can have any number of lanes. Remember, dual means two directions of traffic. It doesn't mean two lanes. That's where many people go wrong. There can be one lane, there can be two, three, four, there can be any number of lanes. So really the answer is, there is no set number of lanes for a dual carriageway. So imagine you're driving along and you come to a dual carriageway. There are no other signs, it just says dual carriageway and there's a barrier down the middle. What would the speed limit be? Well, many people say it has to go up to 40 or 70 or 60 and people guess all these numbers. But the answer is the fact it's a dual carriageway does not mean the speed limit changes at all. Now it can do and it often does, but the dual carriageway, once again, is two directions of traffic separated by a barrier down the middle. That's all it means. It does not necessarily change the speed limit. And there are many dual carriageways around where you can approach them and it's 30 miles an hour on a single carriageway and it stays at 30 miles an hour as it becomes a dual carriageway. So what's the difference then between a dual carriageway and a motorway? What do you need to drive on a motorway that you don't need to drive on a dual carriageway? Now many people think, oh it's a driving license. That's incorrect because learners are now allowed on motorways before they have their full driving licence. You need a provisional licence, but you don't need a full licence. Many people say, oh, is it insurance? But the answer is much simpler. Can anyone guess what the answer is? What must you have for a motorway that you don't need on a dual carriageway? Now, the answer is in the question. Why is it called a motorway? Now, I've only had one pupil get this right ever in all the years I've been teaching. One pupil has got the answer correct. And the answer is, of course, you must have a motor to go on a motorway. So on a dual carriageway, it's quite legal to take a push bike along a dual carriageway. For a motorway, you must have a motor. Now, let's be clear about this. It's not the case of just having a motor. You must have a motor fitted to your vehicle. There are clearly worded legal phrases for this, so you can't be clever. Don't go walking down the motorway carrying a motor and say, look, I've got a motor in my arms. You're not going to get away with that. Okay, But that's simply the difference between a motorway and a dual carriageway. They are effectively the same thing, but you must have a motor to go on the motorway. So let me tell you a story about a time when a driving instructor got this incorrect. He got back at the end of a driving test with his pupil. And the examiner said, I'm sorry, but you haven't passed. He said, well, on that dual carriageway on the way back, you were doing 40 miles an hour. And the instructor said, well, what's wrong with that? And the examiner said, well, the speed limit's 30. At this point, the instructor got a bit annoyed with the examiner and said, you're wrong because all dual carriageways must have minimum speed limit of 40 miles an hour. And that's what makes them a dual carriageway. Now, the examiner looked at the instructor and said, I think we need to have a chat about your knowledge of dual carriageways. <laughs> anyway, so now you know what a dual carriageway is. If you'd like to know any other things like this, let me know in the comments below and check out these videos on the screen now.